Bowie Supercoach coming to you this morning with my top three key drivers on why to remain motivated in real estate. Number one is being on purpose. And this includes ensuring that when you are at a listing appointment, an open for inspection, a buyer appointment, or even prospecting and nurturing clients, that that feels like exactly what you should be doing at that particular stage in your life. You cannot be seduced by thinking, should I be doing something else? Could I be doing something else? Basically every lesson, every adversity, every course, every teaching leading up to that point in your life, you must feel comfortable in your skin when you're face to face with a client or prospecting a client and you must feel on purpose. Feeling off purpose is a cancerous feeling and a disempowering emotion that is guaranteed to get you off track. Number two, you must have a passion to serve. We are in an incredibly important business. We are dealing with people's livelihoods, with their highest and most expensive asset when we're representing clients, and also we're facilitating transactions for buyers that is the most important activity occurring in that particular area of their life and that particular timing of their life. So you must tread gently, you must have a passion to serve, you must act with high integrity, high transparency, and accept that you are dealing with people not necessarily at their best all the time. Both buyers and sellers are highly anxious, they're highly sensitive, and they often feel like they have a responsibility to ensure they're looking after their family. So you need to embrace part of that anxiety, embrace that importance, and please never underestimate how pivotal a role you are playing in their lives at that particular time. So unless you have a passion to serve, then this industry may not be for you. Number three, Real estate must be a turbocharging activity and industry for you to achieve your why. Now, your why is an end-based goal. What I mean by that is you usually have a GCI target or a number of sales target. However, what are the activities and the means-based goals that are gonna get you to that? Now, your why could be sending your kids to private school, it could be going on holidays once a year, it could be buying a better house, buying a better car. Some are material and some are not so material. However, we would be naive to think that remuneration is not a motivator in real estate and not a key driver. We have selected an industry where there's an unlimited potential around what you could earn. So let's not be idealist. However, let's ensure that that is not our key motivator. It's only one of the motivators. However, accept that if you're outstanding at your art and you master this craft of real estate, that you can build a magnificent life for you and your family and there's unlimited potential when it comes to remuneration. I just hope that your end base goal on what to do with that remuneration is dealt with humility, integrity, transparency, because let me tell you, it's not about the ones and zeros on a computer screen. It's almost abstract. What you do with it is the most important attribute to it. I hope you enjoyed my key drivers. God bless and live with virtue.